Okay, in uh, the previous video, I ran a simultaneous multiple regression um, where we were regressing uh, student achievement onto uh, gender, subject matter interests, mastery goals, anx and anxiety. Um, so at this point, um, it becomes kind of important also to look at the data and make sure that it is meeting the assumptions associated with the uh, least squares regression uh, model. So um, what I thought I would do is um, kind of walk you through a variety of different types of ways in which you can look at uh, your data in order to um, you know look at assumptions, uh, detect any kind of uh, detect possible model misspecification and so forth. Um, so really as a starter, what I thought I would do is, and, and ordinarily you would probably, even before you run the regression analysis, you would do this, but I'm going to start just by uh, looking at um, uh, visualizing the relationships among the variables um, in uh, the analysis. So, uh, you know, there are assumptions related to, um, you know, the relationships between um, among the uh, predictor variables and then also with the predictors and the dependent variable. And the idea is, is that you, um, we have linear relationships among our variables. And if we have any kind of nonlinear relationships um, that are um, evident, uh, then that can lead to um, misspecification of your model and, and ultimately end up biasing your uh, results. So really for starters, uh, this in this video we'll start off just by visualizing the relationships among the variables and you know kind of study uh, what what they actually look like so we'll start off uh, I'm going to use the uh, um, uh, command syntax down here and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to graph um, a matrix of the relationships among my uh, among the variables so I'm going to type in graph matrix and then I'm going to select whatever variables that I want to look at in terms of basically generating scatter plots. Um, uh, so I'm going to start off, let's just say I want to look at the relationship, let's say between subject matter interest, and I can drag these over. I don't have to type these in directly, but I can drag these over. And um, there you go. So there's uh, subject matter interest, mastery goals, anxiety, and um, uh, achievement. Uh, there's not really much point in dragging gender over because um, it only has two levels, and so there's no real way of kind of identifying. Uh, there's no nonlinear trends that could be evident um, in that case. So at any rate, I'm gonna I've moved these over. So I've just typed in graph matrix, and then subject matter interest, mastery goals, anxiety, and achievement. So now when I press enter you'll see that we get a scatterplot matrix and you can kind of visually look uh, at some of the relationships. So you've got subject matter interest. If you think about this kind of like a correlation matrix, you've got subject matter interest, mastery goals, anxiety, and achievement um, uh, along this principal diagonal. And then you would have subject matter interest and mastery goals. So you can see maybe somewhat of a, of a, of a positive relationship there, subject matter interest and anxiety. How much of a relationship, subject matter, interest, and achievement, really kind of a, 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 a stronger positive relationship. Then we have mastery goals and anxiety, not a whole lot of relationship. Mastery goals and achievement, positive, and then anxiety and achievement, you know, somewhat negative. So this is basically a scatterplot matrix. If I want to take a closer look at the relationships uh, among the variables, I could actually just use uh, the scatter command. So if I just type in scatter, and then uh, let's say I just wanted to look at the relationship between uh, subject matter interest and achievement a little bit more closely. Then I can kind of uh, type that in or drag it over and do achievement as well. And then hit enter and there you go. So then you can see there's a, a pretty good kind of positive uh, trend uh, evident in the data. So those are two um, options or two um, ways of kind of looking at visually inspecting some of the relationships among uh, your variables, either among the predictors and or uh, between the, the predictors and uh, your dependent variable within the model. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like there was any kind of nonlinear sort of relationships evident. 
Um, but let's say I, I want to, you know, study the, the relationships among the variables a little bit more closely, and I want to generate a correlation matrix. Um, probably the easiest command uh, to also get the significance levels, I'm going to type in PWCORR. And so this is going to basically, uh, this is going to generate a correlation matrix um, for my variables. So I'm going to move, uh, let's just say, we'll just go ahead and do the point by serial with gender as well. So I'm going to move gender over, subject matter interest, um, mastery goals, anxiety, and achievement over here. All right, so if I just stick with that, I'll get a correlation matrix. So there it is right here. And so you can see that, you know, that, um, you know, there's positive relationship between gender and subject matter answers, not, not very strong. Same for mastery goals. A negative relationship um, here, um, you know, so um, there you go. And then you've got um, gender and achievement uh, with females being higher on uh, achievement. Uh, then you, because of the coding, then you've got subject matter interest, positively related to mastery goals, negatively related to anxiety, positively related to achievement, and so forth. Now, if I want the significance levels, then um, I can use the same command, and I'm just going to copy this rather than um, typing, retyping it back in. And then I'll just type in comma and then sig, and so now I get a correlation matrix uh, with both the uh, R values uh, as well as the, the P values associated with each of those tests. So you can see that uh, there's a significant relationship between gender and anxiety, uh, significant relationship with achievement, subject matter interest and mastery goals, subject matter interest and achievement, mastery goals and um, and achievement was significant and, and so forth. So that's basically just um, the, the correlation matrix and the significance levels associated with um, the variables within the model.